Hello everybody, this is Debbie from Deb's Thing, and here is my amazing race design that I dedicated to um, Nix Haley 22. Uh, anybody who's been on Instagram probably knows she's had a struggle lately, and I just am so impressed with this young woman. Um, who demonstrates, I think, truly what Amazing Grace is all about. Just at least, you know, for what's been going on in the Looming community. And I think everything's on the right track again. And I wish everybody who's involved for the very best. So, the reason, besides dedicating it to her for that reason, um... I also did something I hadn't done before. She does amazing, um, very wide cuff bracelets. And up until this design, I had only done seven bars wide. And it took me a little bit of trial and error to come up with this design. Um, I had initially kind of came to an eight bar design, which has the same middle right here. But I just, I didn't like the way these pink bands were. They just seemed a little loosey-goosey. I love this, which I kept here with the Blue Lagoon, the Lagoon bands. But I needed a little extra something. So this is what I came up with. But to show you other people who, I don't know which one I started with, but start up with something like this. I don't even have all of them out here. And this. I think this is where I came up with the design in the center. I kept trying different borders. This is basically this, but here I used double bands, and here I decided maybe using one thicker band would work, but I didn't like that one. These are similar. And this is where I came up with this, where the white is. Playing around. The sides are different because I was experimenting with stuff. Um, here was one of the first renditions of pretty much this design. Yeah, that was this first rendition of that. Um, there's something, I don't know, anyways. You can see I've got all these, and this, and a couple more I forgot out in the living room. What it takes. And then, um, the ladies who have helped me kind of give me, I guess, you know, hear me hear me out so I could kind of think things through were um, Trish at, at Artisan Loom, Loom and Christy at Chidaro underscore Bling. And Trish told me how she just kind of puts the colors on, the bands on. If it doesn't come out, it doesn't come out. Well, I thought, okay, I'm just going to go. And I tried to segment because I'm not as brave as her. Oh. oh, hold on to your stomachs. I thought, oh, maybe this color scheme won't work. Oh my gosh, I'm going to grow up. So, we're not doing that. <laughs> so anyhow, let's get going. And I haven't even transferred this to a 3x5. I'm not sure I can. These are my instructions, lots of notes on the side. So yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see how I'm going to put all this on my little index card so I can store it away in my little box. Okay, so here we go. Let me see, let me go in a little bit closer. Oop, a little too close. We still need to be able to see, okay. For the center, let's see. Let's just start. Oh, by the way, before we get going, I only did. Um, this is a one looms length, so I did a double thick extension. But if you see that, actually, you know, I do have a smaller wrist, but it actually goes quite far away uh, around already. So I am not doing. I'm not going to do a full um, two looms length because of that. Oh shush! We have we got a bunny. Somebody keeps letting their bunny loose, and so Cider is very excited about the fact that there's a bunny in the house, and he can smell it. Excuse me. 
I have to get rid of him who's distracting Cider. Yeah, you're being a distraction, aren't you? So cute. Gosh. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah, get rid of him. Thanks. All right. Okay, make sure I got everything lined up. Sorry about that. Okay, back to business. Animals. Anyway, yeah, somebody keeps letting their, this bunny loose because his sister gave it, to, made him take it because she couldn't keep it in her apartment. And I guess he doesn't want it, so he keeps letting it loose. And it's a sweet little guy. And for whatever reason, it keeps ending up in our yard. And it's like many houses and many fences away. And I don't know. Maybe he smells, smells my animal-loving self. <laughs> and knows this is a safe, safe haven for him. Okay. Ten bars across. Yes. Ten. Seven to ten. So the four in the middle are parallel. Then the two on either side of that are the same, you know, parallel. And then one step up. Okay. As always, I will refer to the colors as A, B, C, D, etc. Color A, which is this wonderful the Persian purple. In the 600 count, I am using, what am I using? What the heck? Oh. <laughs> I am using one of these Galaxy, uh, mixed Galaxy colors, which I incorporated down here, which I just turned out to love. The Lagoon with the white underneath, and then the Galaxy with pretty much the same color with the black underneath. I just really like it, so I am going to be using um, for like around the perimeter around this and any extension like you might use. And so I'm using this green. Color B is the neon green here. I am just using white or or um, glow in the dark white. They're pretty much the same. This is actually glow in the dark white because it, it seems a little bit more of a robust band than the white. Okay, the third color is the Lagoon dual color. I am using this metallic purple. Color D, which is the white here. I am using the mango. Color E, this glitter gold up here. I am using, what am I using? Oh, I'm using this as the um, yin and yang, the round. Sin, sin, I can't say simple. Ah, I know that word, but anyways, the yin yang, they come in black and white, 300 count, they get the round, the round bands, and then for the border, um, I am going to be using, okay, so that was A, B, C, D, and E, the F color, Kind of confusing. Never mind. Um, this border, which I guess will be color F, are the um, which one is this? I forget. It's got the pink on the outside and kind of that purpley blue on the inside. I forget which one it is. And then for these right here, um, I was going to use um, the metallic purple silicone ones that are 300 count. But I don't have enough of these. Oh, you know what? Whoops, whoops. Okay, I'm going to use these where these are right here. The galaxies in here. But I'm using these other ones. I'm, it's pretty much the same color for this, this, and this position. But because I ran out of, I don't have enough of these. In the center, I'm going to be using these bands that, um, very, the very, very generous, generous Christie. Chidaro underscore bling sent me. So they're both labeled as metallic 
purple, but they're a little different. So let's just say this color C, which is going to be here, is also this color right, for the galaxy colors. Okay, got you confused enough. Well, let's get going. So the color that we're using here, we're to start out by placing two of them right here for my connector band later on. I like to double them up so in case you have an extension, it just it's just better if you're gonna have to have extension when you do a wide cuff as single bands, it's just it's too flimsy. And so then we are going to place another A band here and one here. And I'm going to have to think a lot while I do this because there's a lot of you'll see. I won't confuse you, you know, just just follow my lead. Okay. So we're gonna do those. And then for now, we are going to take the color see, F, which are the, it's the outer border here. And you can see I started it here. So I'm gonna place one here. One here, one here. This is a little funky. I have, I mean, I'm using the thicker ones here, so it's probably be a little funky where these were all like the same, same thickness. So um, it's just going to be a little fatter out on the edge. But I, I'm just experimenting. I'm going a little wee wee bit on the wild side as, as Trish does, and just. You know, go for it. Okay, once we've got that, we are going to go up the middle this way. Right now, we're just going to place one of our A bands like this, and then color C, which um, I use the neon green here, and I'm using white. We're going to place one here one here. So the rest of the way up the loom you're going to do this. We're going to place two of our A color bands like this and then grab our it's our B right? Yeah, B. <laughs> We're confusing. And then keep doing this. Two of these on either side, like this. I'm making a sideways V. These dual layer bands are a little tricky um, to use on the full loom because they like to twist and not lay properly. But with a little coaxing, They, sh they usually come into alignment and aren't all twisted up. And part of that is carefully placing them to start with. So if you you know if they're all twisted like that, you see that how it's twisted. See how you're not seeing green right there. You're seeing the black. You want it like that. It's just one less twist you have to get undone. And I want to apologize, I'm trying to speak louder and with my new camera position set up, uh, I'm more right in front of it instead of it being above me. So hopefully you can hear my voice above my fan, but I just cannot not have that fan on right now. It's still so hot and muggy out here. And um, I know some of you complained that they can't listen to this, listen to my, um, watch my videos because of the fan in the background, but Hopefully my voice is being louder than the fan. It's not the most irritating sound in the world, but I know when it's magnified, it sounds less than tolerable. Okay, I'll be back after I finish placing these, and we'll start with the next stage of this <sighs> walk on the wild side bracelet. Amazing. So for now, um, whether you're at the end of your loom like this, uh, it doesn't matter. For now, just end with the A-bands going like this. 
We'll be doing some removing and rearranging later on, but no white band or the blue color band here. The next thing we are going to do, come back to the bottom and we are going to take our what color band was this? The um, C, okay, yeah. The, these are these are the F's, but we just have to place those at a time. So these are A, B, C bands are going to all go up like this. These aren't got these don't have you know what? No, they are. Never mind. Thinking in my head and just realized it didn't need to be said out loud because it didn't make any sense. So we're going to go up either side from the two center pins, like pins that are the most center, up one and over, oh, up and over one. And we will do that all the way up. And we are going to do Let's see. Um, I get a little confused till I actually get to this end. So you will, you know, just do them up to here and we'll, you know, take bands off and on as needed so that they make the best, um, the border looks the nicest. So we'll just do this real quick. Well, actually, I'm not going to do it all. I'll just show you um, that you're going to place all these bands okay, on either side. Get rid of two steps at one time. Okay, so let's just pretend I've done those all the way up. The next thing we are going to do is we're going to come back to our, our B color band and that's how this makes this pattern the, the way the green looks um, is by doing using the same color for this position for this position band right here and then these we're going to place these in X's starting one side and then the other and then continue the same Okay, so you're going to do that all the way up. Um, again, uh, if you want to, you know, place the last two here, that's fine. I probably, we probably have to remove them or do something to them when we get up there, but no worries. I'll get you through that, okay? So, to reiterate, place all these C-colored bands in a V-shape, and then come back and do X. X, X, all the way up the center. Okay, everybody. We have the C-colored bands, which are my um, metallic purple right here, underneath the X's. And so I just placed them like this um, for now. My instructions are a little different, but I don't know, I'm too confused. <laughs> to try to figure that out at this point so we will deal with the way it all resolves down at that end later on. I know, denial, push it away. Later, later, we'll deal with it later. <laughs> the next step is your decolored bands and one, two, three, column three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, column three and eight, which um, at this point are the two uh, columns that have the bands at the very end. You're going to take two and go all the way up. On either side, just like this. And place them neatly like that, so they're not twisted on top of each other. And practice makes this 
happen with ease and if you are um, not coordinated yet to do that just place one and then place the other on top of it okay so that they stay neatly stacked and don't crisscross over each other so you can also do it on that side oops so yeah messed that one up Okay. I'm not going to show you anymore. The only thing I'm going to advise you is to only go up to, like, go to the second to the last one. So if you're going to the end, okay, this this is going to be like your border. Your your border, if you go all the way at the end, is going to come up, go here, go here, go here, and then across. Okay. So just bring your last two bands like this. Okay, don't go from here to here. And same token, I'm um, showing it as pretending this is the end. And with these, oops, end with these two, and don't go from here to here because we're going to have to do some band removal, remove some of these bands and place them under because I found that it made the neatest. Um, design and need us finish in the end as far as the borders go and on this on this I've even refined it a little more as I've been practicing so I will be back after I place okay now we're starting to get into a little bit um, trickier aspects of this design um, and I didn't mention because I think anybody attempting a 10 bar wide design um, probably already knows the basics, but you definitely, you know, push these down as you go, um, making sure not to get them all twisted up so that you have room to add more bands. So I found that this design works better with these um, last bands are underneath the border which will like, come here let's see come here let's see how does that work and then, yeah. uh -oh. yeah. okay which will come here to here to here and then I'll, shush i'm busy where's your mommy i'm grandma okay so, we will right now release these C bands. They're fortunately, they're, they're already, you know, positioned, they're already kind of trapped by the other bands. Um, take these two off and set them aside. Okay, those are the ones right here and right here. And now, you will lift this band off and this band off just temporarily. Just leave them hanging there. Place the last two bands on either side. I'm sorry, I think I'm mumbling again. <laughs> okay. And then grab this band and put it over back to the pin it was on okay and just kind of leave everything else the same for now and we will be adding these bands back on in a little bit next step real simple you're gonna like this one because it's just a single chain um, and I'm using the yin and yang white cylinder cylindrical cylindrical bands and we're just going to go straight up either side nice and quickly there I just stay on camera for this since if I can't do this at a little bit of a rapid speed then oh, not a loomer 
Although I don't practice enough as you guys, the rest of you do. I know most of you, many of you, um, do at least a tutorial a day or the other day. So you're probably spending a lot more time looming than I am. Therefore, have increased dexterity. And I must admit, I hate to because I am a big defier of age, but unless you really go at it and hard as you get older, you do not keep up with the young. <laughs> you cannot, will not. Um, the young, the growth hormone is still surging. They renew themselves. They drop off to sleep and wake up fully charged. Their bodies are still developing and the growth hormone is renewing every aspect of their being. And that's not the case when you're 55. So, you have to fight it. You have to fight it with everything in you. And you all know my situation with my health, but I still fight. I did. On my daughter's birthday, all the girlfriends were over, and a lot of them, like myself when I was a kid, we, we did like gymnastics, not you know, like professional, ready for the Olympics level, but you know, handstands, flips, forward handsprings, back bends, kips, whatnot. And it took me a little while to stretch, but I was doing handstands with the girls, although I do mine up against the wall of the house because um, my, back, my, my back bend muscles are kind of stiff and I do have a bad area at my back, so I really didn't want to cause myself any more pain just to show off to a bunch of 12, 11 and 12 year olds. But I could do one, and I even, I even held mine once I got my balance a little bit better than the 12 year olds, nah, nah, 11 year olds actually. My daughter's 12, but her peers are still 11. Okay, anyways, done with the bragging. So we'll take it up to where the um, D bands, this is the D color bands, go. Oh, these are the E. Okay, what's next? Let me look real quick just to make sure. Okay. Now the next position. Let's see, I didn't even push these down. Um, too busy bragging about my non existent but still attempts at athletic skills. I'm not an athlete, but I'm limber. And so I just had to prove I could do a handstand. against a wall. I would push against the wall and hold myself up for a few seconds, but I did it. Even if it's five seconds, I was holding it for five seconds. <laughs> okay, now I'm going back to use the C color bands if you want. Actually, the, the bands I'm using for this next section, it's basically, I like, for me, I like to keep, um, you know, the ones we're doing right now are the ones, um, the Galaxy Bands, placement those. I like to keep them this in the same color family as the outer border so that, um, I don't know, so it's not just too much going on. Okay, so here we're going to do another little adjustment. We're going to take this band off, place this band on, and put this back. Okay. And we'll go to the same on the other side. I don't know, for whatever reason, this design, I found that there was a lot of taking bands off in, in order to accommodate other bands. And so, pretty much, let's see, make sure I'm staying. We're just going to place these at a downward angle from the second pin to the first. And then on this side, from the ninth to the tenth. And we'll do that all the way up to all he wants to play is those nasty chewed up rope. We have to buy one of these big ropes once every two weeks. So we're not gonna do up here because this is gonna be the border band. Okay? So you're just gonna fill in all You know, all these all the way down. Do 
you want to put you on camera and show everybody your nasty rope, aren't you going to be embarrassed? But I don't care. I stick my head in the litter box. Are you kidding me? Nothing embarrasses me. I'm a dog. <laughs> I'm very excited. So. This thing do the slope. He's busy. He likes to chew. It's like, I'm going to disembowel this thing. I'm going to get to its insides. And he breaks the big long. Um, let's see. Hold on. Got to make sure I keep this straight. Sorry about that. Anyways, yeah, that's that's his mo. He breaks those in half and makes two shorter ropes. So now, then he plays with those. But you know, he can't do tug of war once he's broke those in half. And he loves tug of war. It's your favorite game, huh? <laughs> Can you hear him ripping at that thing? He's an animal. He's got his prey and he's devouring it. Look at him, he's just so... <laughs> we have to say... <laughs> he's very, um, what's the word? What's the word? He's very committed <laughs> to his activity. I do not like that band. You know, um, one thing I do is if I put a band and it doesn't feel it has the elasticity, I usually throw that to the side because it just, I don't know. The bands Christy gave me, these right here, are um, don't have a lot of elasticity. These that don't have the sheen on the outside as much, don't have that pearl finish. These are very uh, loosey-goosey. He's so funny. And I swear, everybody in this family take, starts picking up my husband's like night owl tendencies. And because he's the head of the family. And we all kind of we all kind of just roll with him because, you know, he's the one making the money for the family. So we kind of have to, you know, oblige him because he's he's working really hard to provide for us. But uh, even the dog, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, it's past my bedtime. He's like, Whoa, he's tossing the bo his bone or his rope or some toy around, like, hey, look, look how fun this is. I'm tossing in the air, and I'm growling and jumping after it. You just must be as excited as me, right? Go away, dog. Go away, puppy. <laughs> okay, so we're done with that. That was really quick. Now we're going to take our final, what I've determined to be the F band. Not the F and band. This is the F position or order band. A, B, C, D, E, F. And we are just going to place these up the <coughs> up side. <coughs> Excuse me. So we already have these two here. Hopefully this won't look dumb because these thick bands are going to stick out so much farther than the um, Is it eleven o'clock? No, it's no long I moved everything electronic or what otherwise out of here. So there's no clock in here. I just have a regular camera so there's no time on it. Anyways, my, it should be my 11 o'clock alarm. I'm hearing the distance telling me to take my bedtime medications and supplements. Okay, so anyhow, I'm going to go off camera, take care of that. And for all of you, you just need to do this. I do it up, you know, up to this pin here. So the next one is going to go over. So just stop here and I will take it the rest of the way. Oh, look! Before I go, look, 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 he did it. He has two ropes. He did it. Oh, 
I'm so proud of her. No, I'm not. That means we have to go buy you another big rope. See that? <laughs> he made two ropes out of one rope. We have such a talented canine. I'm telling you, he's ready for the prime time. <laughs> Alrighty, so now to resolve this. <laughs> So we will take, um, if you've stopped right here, this, this pin, which would be, um, if you went all the way to the end of your loom, it would be the third one down. So we're going to be heading here, here, and here, okay? So we will place one of the F Water bands on each side. Let me think here. Okay, yeah. Place another one here. I'm just trying to think it through it to make it as least confusing as possible for the rest of you. Okay, now we're going to switch back to our A-colored bands and place one here. Where'd you go? Oh. <laughs> and one here. Now, no barking. No, I said no barking. People get upset when you do that. They scare them. Shush. 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 Okay. Um, shush. Cider, cool it. Uh, we are going to take these two off temporarily. Quiet. Place the blue bands. Shush. I'm sorry, people. I'm trying to get this finished right here. Okay, now we can take these and place them back. Being a butthead dog. Excuse me, people. That's not a nice thing to say. Okay. So now, before we place the cap, we replace the X here with the uh, B colored bands. And for the cap, I'm going to use this funky looking. Hold on. This is kind of a funky one, so I'm going to use it for a cap. This one's kind of funky. Sometimes they have a weird shape. So I'm using two, and just pin that over, and I'm going to go off camera, get the dog confined so that once we start the looming part, he won't be woofing and scaring those of you not expecting it. Okay, I'm turning this around, get ready for that, and I'll be right back. All right, let's start looming, ladies and gentlemen. Girls and boys, the first thing we're going to do is go up the center, starting with the one that's underneath. So here on this side is the one that's underneath. And we're just going to go like this. All the way up. I think I'm going to try to stay on camera and do this. Because it shan't take too long. And if I'm not on screen, um, no worries. I'm not doing anything other than making this X shape. I really... I'm pleased with this design um, because I think I um, did my best to try to come up with fairly unique things. You know, nothing, I don't think there's any technique that hasn't been done. I think all we can pretty much do now is find new um, ways to combine them and make slight variations. 
and what's already been done. So hopefully I've done that. Not right here on the... I've done this plenty of times and I'm sure I've seen it done plenty of times. But at what comes next is what's so amazing. <laughs> no, it's not amazing, but I just I just like how it um what I do after this the way it makes the the green neon green that that pattern I did neon green on that one too so no please. no I'm mumbling never mind mumbling mumbling I'm really trying to learn not to throw out like random thoughts it's one thing if you're sitting here and seeing my facial expressions and can you know comment back and say, what do you mean by that, Debbie? But um, I feel so sad for all of you who have had to struggle through all my rambling, especially those with um, depend on translations to hear my words in your own native language. And yeah, I can just imagine how what I say translates to because I've used translation programs before and then they they finally came they finally I've noticed come out with like translate back because I've realized with my Spanish neighbors that some things I thought I had so perfectly translated I would like I wonder what that actually comes back to or not I would you know copy paste it so it would translate back and the translation back <laughs> can be really strange <laughs> So yeah, sometimes we have to look for a very various combination of words so that it translates into the next language appropriately. So there I go rambling. What are you talking about? Okay. So that's all done. That was quick and easy. And this is the next thing. We take this C band and bring it down. Then we're going to go up to the next one bring it down. Now we're going to bring this one up here, not to its home pin, but to the next pin up. Do the same thing on this side. We'll do this one and this one. And then take this bring it up. So the rest of the way, you can go up one side and then up the other. You don't have to go back and forth. We're going to place this down, bring this up, bring this one down to its home pin, bring this one up to the next pin, bring this down to the home pin, bring this to the next pin. And I'll show it again on this side, bring it down, bring it up, bring it down. Don't skip. <laughs> bring it up. Bring it down. Bring it up. And of course, push your bands down so you have room. Yeah, um, you definitely want to push that down because if you saw, noticed it popped off twice. Right here, popped off, and we don't want that because it'll mess it up. Um, you know, I use these silicone bands here that do not have a lot of stretch, and then the white bands that do have a lot of stretch. So it'll be interesting to see if this is a thumbs up or a dud. I think that might be the very, very hardest part of um, looming, especially on a full loom, is figuring out what bands will work together when there's so many different styles. 
because on this one, I basically, you know, I use pretty much opaque bands. Um, with the exception of this one up here, but that was just a single chain. So they kind of all, work, you know, they're going to work together because they're the same, pretty much, cons pre you know, pretty much the same. Whoops. I'm putting that back because I forgot to do this. You know, if they have, all have the same consistency, then they're all going to, they're going to, they're going to gel together nicely. But when you use different types of bands, different thicknesses, different elasticities, etc., you never know. Some of you are great at figuring that out. I am not one of them. Sorry. I suppose if I took had the time and energy to make more of your all, all of your designs, like most of you do, try each other's designs out. I wouldn't be in this pickle of not knowing what's going on. I would glean from you. So I've got a couple of designs I'm going to try. Even though my list is the ones I want to do is so long that it's like beyond ever attempting to accomplish. I'm just kind of go from kind of what's going on now, and there's a couple of designs that are piquing my interest. Okay. So, pretty much what you're doing is you're doing the angled band first, back to its home pan, then you're taking this, the horizontal band and bringing it up at an angle to the next pin above. So don't do this one first. Don't do this up. I mean, it might just make a nice, it might make a nicer design. I don't know. But if you want to make exactly what you see in Amazing Grace, then this is how I did it. I did a 10 bar wide design. I can't believe it. I'm telling you, when I first put this, you know, double length, full length, 10 bar wide, I had a panic attack. It's like my heart just started beating a little fast. It looked scary. But now I'm getting used to it, so I can see how, you know, once you get into doing them this wide, it's not so scary anymore. But as I said to somebody, I was really scared. I was scared of all that real estate. And I'm almost off camera here, off screen. You said the at, at this point the loom is pressing into my belly and I can't really back up any further. I'll be too far away from the table to stretch out my short little arms. Okay, almost done. Okay, so we have that done. Next thing. Okay, let me think here. Now we are going to, on either side, loom out just the <coughs> bottom border. So we're just going to go to this one right here. And then we are going to go out to this side. Wow. 
after 11 p.m. I just realized all I've eaten today is a banana. I'm hungry and my stomach's starting to let me know. <coughs> Excuse me. Lady, up there, overhead. Where's my food? <laughs> Alright, now, for this moment, we are just going to loop this one A band, but we're not going to loop any of these. The rest of them that zigzag up will be the almost the last things. And I found with, with these double dual sided band, if you let it, the tension loose and then lay it over, see how it's not twisted? I had the hugest problem with um, my dual layer bands twisting. So, I'm just doing those two for now. Now we are going to do uh, the double layered bands right here. So the top one we're going to bring to the inside towards the center and up. Uh, not this one, but way up here. Okay, And this one you're going to take to this one. So it's not going way up here. So See how that looks? And then on this side you could do the mirror image. So the top one you're going to take up here to the center and then take this one towards the outside of the room. And we're just going to do that. Just remember to do it in the same order so that um, so that this you know has that looks consistent or it'll look like you know it'll, I know it'll look weird like that or something. So the top one goes towards the center. The bottom one goes towards the outside. And again, you can do one side, then the other. I think it's much more efficient time-wise just to stay up, you know, going up one column and the other, as opposed to switching back and forth. But I will show you here to remind you that the top one goes towards the center and the bottom one goes towards the outside. And definitely push them down because we've got more bands to place on these pins. Hope I like this. I did not do a test run on this color scheme, but I think it'll drive. I mean, it, it looks cohesive on the, on the loom, so. I don't think it's going to be as nice as this, but, you know, the lime greens and the, the aqua colors are just throwing some white as a contrast, and you can't beat those kind of colors. I just really, really, really love these um, 600 count Persian bands because they photograph so shiny. I love shiny. <laughs> Sparkly and shiny. And so you wonder why I'm not a bling queen myself. I have tons of it, but it's just too much for my brain to try to process at this moment in my life. Yeah. And if you know know me and knew who I was in earlier times, I loved complex. I did not like to be outdone as far as that kind of a challenge, but oh well. Humble thyself and accept what you can do. I guess that's how it works. Well, I'd be jealous of all of you guys who are making all those 
gorgeous thing. Wait a minute, I would say. I'm the one that can do that. I'm the one that come, should come up with those ideas. But what can I say? Can't do it right now, so I will give you the designs and you can choose to bling them. Feed them. I really, really love the innovation that somebody came up with with the chains where you kind of loop the chains up, oh my gosh, you know, into the design. I think that looks so cool. I mean, some of you who have blinged and fancied up designs, they look like like jewelry. Look like something you, you go to a jewelry case and, and see, not like, you know, not like a jewelry store, real gems, but like in a high-end costume jewelry store. Um, beautiful stuff. Okay. Getting sleepy. I don't know. I always start these like after 10 p.m. and get a big design like this. It very easily takes an hour and a half get the whole design done on and off camera. I know I'm probably making this really long by staying on camera. I'm doing this. But I'm trying to go fast and you all know you can just fast forward through all this redundancy anyways. And you don't have to listen to me awkwardly filling the silence. Oh, oh my back. My back is getting tired of sitting upright. I know, I'm such a complainer. Okay, we're almost done this. And the next thing is actually going to be the real quick thing, but I'm going to just show you what to do next, and then I'm just going to go off the camera for a little bit. Oh, wait. No, I was thinking of something else. Never mind. Ignore that. But I will just show you one thing and go off camera. I was just one step ahead of myself. I was thinking I was going to show, just explain to you the single chain of this line, but, but we can't do that yet. No, no, no. Okay. <sighs> well, there, hold on, you guys. Let me take a look make sure. Hmm. Okay, so what we are going to do now, since these bands right here are underneath, we're going to reach under and bring them back to their home pin. And so we're just going to do that up each side. Okay. And I'm just going to give you a, um, a two-step thing. So we're going to do all these, right? All the way up. And then the last one, you would be, see this right here in the corner? We'll do the same way. I was showing you this because they don't intersect with the ones below it. So it doesn't matter, you know. Okay, so once, once all these angled bands have been looped, then you are going to go up and single chain this all the way up, okay? Just remember, do this part after 
after all these are done. Okay. All right. So hopefully that was enough instructions because it's fairly simple. And I'm going to go sit and recline and try to get all the yawns out of my system and be back. Okay, we are getting towards the home stretch. I'm going to show you the last two things that need to be done. The first one will be to reach under and do the zigzag, um, the A bands. The first one's to be placed. I'm going to take them out like this. I mean, you're just going to do the zigzag. And hopefully, I will won't get them all twisted up. See, this one's a little twisted up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to want to do these off camera so I can take my time and not get them all tangled up. So zigzag, 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 all the way up. This last one, bring it out to here, and this last one out to here, and then finish the border. So just reach under and bring it on top. This is what you're going to see these ones, just these things sticking out right here. That's what you're going to be grabbing. So place this on top. Then it's the only thing. So you would do that up each side. Very basic. I mean, it's just kind of a single chain, except that you know the band stretched out a little bit, so it looks a little odd, but still the same technique. Okay, so we're gonna go all of you know. Final thing you to take, whoops, take it all the way up to here, to here, to here, to here, and then to here. So when you get everything up to here, this will be the last thing we do is to clip it off. And I will show you, for those who are not familiar with how I bring that all together, I'll come back and show you how to finish it. Well, I'm back. My battery is about ready to die, so hopefully I can get this finished up. Let's see. Is it zoomed in there? Okay, I took part of it off just to get that part done. I, I think I'm going to like this, this color skin. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You can see all the zig and the zagging going here. I kind of gave up on keeping it all straight, so I'll have to fix it once it's off the loom and then this is what the border looks like as it was loomed. So I stopped it either pin. So we will continue this will be the last one we loop. And then again on this side. Oh, okay, I totally, I just noticed my veil is dirty, I'm so embarrassed, but I sat here and cleaned it before I turned the camera on. I have no idea how I can get my nails so dirty in such a short time. I don't do, I'm only, all I'm doing is looming. I didn't go out in the garden. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, ignore the fingertips. I'm not stopping now for vanity's sake because I want to get this done before I lose my battery. Okay. So I'm going to reach under here and grab these two bands. I'm going to hold them like this so I can reach under and grab the other two halves. And then I'm going to find the clip. Pop on the clip. 
Make sure it's on. Okay. So I'm going to go as fast as I can. Pull this off. And hopefully. Oh my god, no, 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 oh my gosh. I gotta go off camera. Bye. Disaster. A, ba a band broke. So I've got to rest. Oh. Well, the disaster, complete disaster averted. Um, looks a little funky here because I couldn't figure out how to make it that broken white band to resolve, you know. Anyways, that doesn't matter. It's under the wrist where you're not going to see it. The handy dandy mint flavored <laughs> dental floss. I was able to at least tie all those loose bands together. So if we pretend that bad thing doesn't hap didn't happen, um, I do obviously have a lot of straightening out of these bands to do. But overall, I like the color scheme. I think it looks cool. So this is definitely something you, you definitely want to kind of do this to. So all the bands kind of get um, detangled. And then there's kind of, you know, especially if you use dual layer, dual layer, I'm going to have to go like, you see this one is opposite of that one. So that's just a matter of... Um, untwisting them and then as always when you do bands you have a little bit of this to go on and I'm not going to bother um, doing it on camera since I'm doing such a horrible job at it <laughs> so anyhow here is Amazing Grace and it whoops wrong one where are you and it definitely looks better at a fuller length even though it goes around the wrist enough, it looks pretty squatty. Uh, much nicer. Let me see. You saw how far I went around or went up the loom. So it's a little short, but um, it'll just take a small bit. But look at that. Oh my, I'm impressed. <laughs> looks nice. Love it. Okay, so here this one is. I thought I'd like this one better. This is definitely more my color scheme. But I do... This is the other side, but... Uh, I like this side. So there you have it. Amazing Grace. Thank you so much for watching. The battery's obviously not dead. I made it! <sighs> Feel free to subscribe to me here on YouTube at Deb's Thing, or, or just Deb's Thing. And check me out on Instagram, at Deb's Thing. Have a good night. Or morning, wherever you are in the world. Have a good moment. <laughs>